Hello Virgo, sexy Virgo, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to, I just snorted, didn't I? I was, see, I can't. <laughs> Every time I try to be like cool and sexy and all together, I just blow it. But Virgo, sexy Virgo, you got it going on. You ready for your weekly reading with me, Cindy? All right, sexy Virgo. I was just, <laughs> Lily was laying on, um, on my bed and I have like this bench, which is so funny. I was just talking about that in the Leo reading. And anyways, so I have this bench at the end of the bed because it's lower so she can jump up onto it and never get on the bed. So I was like, I came out of the bathroom and I like, hey, Lily. <laughs> You're funny with Lily. And then I walked and tripped right into the bench and I got a bruise and a scuff on my, ow, I got a bump. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> I don't know why I even try. I'm just kind of clumsy. My mom has always said she'd be really surprised if I made it through the end of my life with all of my digits. I don't know, oh God, I don't know. I think I would pass out if I lost a digit. I couldn't handle that. I don't do that. I don't do well with that. I cut my fingers. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I cut my fingers really bad once. I was really young, like in my mid twenties. And it was before I realized when you're carving things, you should never carve towards your hand. You carve away from your hand. And I did, I sliced right in, and honest to God, I'm sure I hit the bone. It was bad. I ended up, I, oh, I had to go to the bathroom and puke. I was like, it was a mess. I would not go get stitches. I was terrified of the stitches. I don't like that stuff. I don't like, I could never be a doctor or a nurse. I don't want to take my blood. I can't look. Oh my gosh, I've made myself all squeamish. Done. Let's just change that topic. with the eight of pentacles we're gonna do this again this was good before i would end a reading and then the next reading would pick up where that was oh look at look at oh the two of cups the nine of swords in your head the ace of swords boom clarity truth knowing the eight of pentacles and the five of cups this is so funny I just finished Leo's reading and it ended with the Eight of Pentacles and an Ace of Pentacles. But the clarifiers, like their whole reading was they were really focused on someone that they had a feelings for, right? And it wasn't coming in. But it was like the universe was like, look, look, there's something better. There's like a new job. Things going to be really good. It's going to shift your perspective. It's, just, it's so funny because literally this, I'm just hearing the Eight of Pentacles. It's not going to help me feel better about this Five of Cups. <laughs> It's, it's just so weird. It's like, and it's very, it's almost like something that you've put a lot of work and effort into, but you have this five of cups, you have this disappointment energy about it. Something you've put a lot of work into. And it's like, it just ended up as disappointment. It ended up feeling like a missed opportunity here. That's going to be interesting to clarify. You know, I'm kind of getting with this card too. There's so many little spots in this web, like stars that are lit up. Kind of like if you are working on something or if you have been working, and it's quite possible because it's kind of like it feels like the world has gone to a big shift here where there's people who are working and they have a lot of work to do. And then there's people who have lost their jobs and they have nothing to do. It's like there's not a lot of good in between right now you may have just had like so much that we were working on and this five of cups it feels like somehow something got missed or something ended up feeling like an opportunity that didn't come through so we're going to clarify stuff so then we get the page of wands and the emperor hmm. the page of wands and the emperor like I'm literally receiving nothing you guys did this to me once before it was last summer in a reading I remember it was the most elusive energy I gotta clarify it like I mean I could just tell you what the cards mean right but it's not giving me a message like a solid message here which is unusual because the Emperor is an energy 
that would be very strong. It would really tell you what was going on, what it wanted, what it felt, what it what its direction was, like ownership here. But this page of wands is fiery energy, kind of like the emperor. But it's a quite a step down. I mean, it's quite a step down from emperor energy. It's it's very childlike. No, you know, that's probably not the right. It's very innocent, um, very low key. Very, a very low key communication of some sort, either putting it out there or receiving it, which doesn't quite feel like the energy of this emperor. So something is off here. Something is off in the middle part of your reading. And then we have the Two of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Oh, something. There's something here that, you know, you really feel it's really for you. Something you feel equally about, but it's in your, like, it's all in your head. And whenever you get the Nine of Swords, it means that action is not being taken. Really, it does. Because once we start doing, start taking part actively in our lives or whatever it is that we want, it gets us out of our head, right? It's when we get in our head is when we aren't doing things. We aren't doing things to change our life or we aren't, um... Yeah, it's pretty much what it is. It's really, it's pretty much how that kind of happens. So there's something that's holding you back, possibly. Let's just start clarifying here. Yeah, something is off in the middle. Because if this emperor energy was coming, you know, if it's you or someone else, however that plays out, if the emperor was communicating in some way, it should be pretty solid and out there and open. Like, I would expect to see, like, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, something like that around this Emperor. But the Page of Wands, it's like it has to be held back somehow. It's almost like it's got to be held back. Or it is being held back. So this Eight of Pentacles, what is this Eight of Pentacles for Virgo? What is this Eight of Pentacles for Virgo? Oh, my gosh. On the floor. It's always going on the floor. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Devil. I don't know. I'm wondering if there's somebody you have something for at work here. If you have feelings for someone at work. Because the Nine of Swords is over here with the Two of Cups, correct? So it's really got you in your head. It's really got, and, and this is kind of telling us why it's in, you're in your head here. We're getting a, kind of an explanation down at this end. The Queen of Swords, I mean, there's no expression of emotion or feelings here. There is um, active participation in doing, keeping things organized, keeping things truthful and honest, but in your head. Maybe you can't be truthful and honest about something here at work because it doesn't have something to do with work. It's the only thing I can think of because we have an Ace of Cups here. But the devil, it's like there's this heavy energy sitting behind it that's holding you back. It's the only thing I can think of that's coming up. Not that I think of, think of, but it's linking it to here with this Nine of Swords. This Two of Cups for you. It's linking it here with this Nine of Swords. So the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups, the Five of Cups for Virgo. Wow, the King of Swords and the Chariot. Interesting how we have the King and Queen of Swords sitting here now. And the Two of Cups is what you're, you're in your head about. So the King and Queen of Swords, for all intents and purposes, would be like a divine counterpart, some sort of counterpart, at least. You're both, perhaps, maybe you both can't show your feelings and emotions, but somehow you both feel it. And it's a disappointment because the King of Swords can't come forward with feelings and emotions. But yet the Chariot is here. Why is the Chariot here? Why is the Chariot here with this Five of Cups? There is like a desire to correct, I want to say, this Five of Cups with the Chariot. And there it is. The Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So somebody here either wants to communicate or actually physically move towards someone for communication. Like, you're not just going to go towards someone and stare at them. At the end of the day, it's communication with the Eight of Wands. You just go up to someone and then just stare at them. That's kind of creepy. It's a little creepy. 
That won't go very well, Virgo. I don't think so. You might want to say something or they might want to say something to you. However, this is playing out. But so there's definitely some something here. There's a desire at least for movement because it's been held back. So, okay, let's take a look at this page of wands. Ah, maybe this is how the communication is going to come through. I mean, it's just communication because these wands are moving in this direction to this page. Clarify the page of wands. Clarify the page of wands. Well, that came out first. The six of pentacles, the eight of swords, and the six of wands. Because the page is subtle. It's going to be some sort of very subtle communication. Um, but this communication is intended to bring some sort of balance in where balance didn't exist. And with the eight of swords followed by the six of wands, this balance, what I'm being told, here, what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, what I'm reading, this balance is if you could not see something, if you could not understand it, if you feel like you could not move, you're going to have victory and understand. It's a very subtle, a very subtle form of communication with the page. So you got to be on your game. <laughs> Figure out what this is. But uh, perhaps because of there's some, there's something to do with work that has your two of cups. So this subtle communication is going to make things clear because someone sitting in victory is going to see things more clearly. They're going to be able to move forward properly, right? And the emperor. Well, what is the emperor? What's going on with this emperor? The five of cups tried to flip and it jumped back in. It won't go in. Look at that. The emperor. The emperor. So the Emperor, we have the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. <laughs> I like it. That's it. the Emperor. I tell you, that's Emperor energy. <laughs> that's the Emperor energy. Um, that's what you would expect from the Emperor. If the Emperor, like the Emperor is seeing something here that the Emperor has a lot of feelings and emotions to. This feels very mutual. It's uh, very intuitive. I'm getting like sort of an intuitive connection here with this Queen of Cups. And it's stable. Like this is something that this emperor energy could see moving into. Oh hi, Lily. <laughs> Lily came in the room and realized that. Um, that like a, a fine, a, like an ending. Like someone that you can spend your life with. Someone that's got stability here. And the uh, Ace of Wands. Well, it is the emperor. So <laughs> the emperor is very passionate and excited <laughs> about this. Even though there's emotion and feeling too. So that's nice. It's like a, a kiss with a hug. <laughs> so the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. The Queen of Wands. It could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. The Queen of Wands. It could be a fire sign. And she's probably holding up her wands. <laughs> the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Hmm. The Queen of Wands is a little defensive, I want to say, in this. So it could be you. However this is playing out, the Queen of Wands could be you. Um, I want to say it's probably whoever is sitting in the Eight of Swords. Is there somebody here that's not seeing something clearly? And someone else in this story is coming forward with some sort of very subtle communication to make it more clear. And if you've been in the Nine of Swords, or they've been in the Nine of Swords, whoever this is, it's possibly maybe they understand that it is not clear and they're trying to create clarity here. But the Queen of Swords, or the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands is a very passionate energy. It's a very um, dynamic, entrepreneurial, like let's go out and get things done today. What are we going to do? And she really kind of goes from her gut and her heart here. Like that's the kind of energy where, you know, the Queen of Swords is like, that's all I'm using today. I'm not, yeah, none of this is getting used. It's all about what's up here. So this is someone who's definitely in, um, really in their power, like owning their life and owning it too, like on a very spiritual level. Was when you're going from your heart and your gut, that's when you're let, letting your deeper self communicate to you. So the Nine of Swords. Somebody is in the Nine of Swords about this. All in their head. 
Worst case scenario, not sure how to go. Oh, wow, no wonder. <laughs> the Nine of Swords with the Tower and the Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh. There's an awful lot. Somebody has an awful lot that they need to release here. Somebody has a lot that they need to release. So releasing this is kind of like, it's kind of a life-changing release. So someone being in their heads on it is quite normal because that's an awful, like, you know that once this is whatever it is, it's going to change your life. It's going to change your life in a big way. Mm, okay, so the Ace of Swords, remember, was the underlying. So there is going to be some sort of clarity for you. It feels like that clarity is coming through. It's warm communication because it's wands. It's going to be warm communication. It's not going to be like a page of swords. Like the, the communication will be somewhat warm, but it's subtle. So the Ace of Swords, what can Virgo expect with the Ace of Swords? The Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Somebody is walking away from something and they're heading to the King of Pentacles. Finally, you kind of came out into the reading. That's why I've been like, I don't know. This is, there's like, is there a single pentacle here? <laughs> the eight of pentacles is the only, this is the only pentacle. Well, the ten. <laughs> Let's start going on about there's no pentacles. But really, there isn't. Oh, there's a six, <laughs> six of pentacles. You can tell like I'm on totally, I zone in to the date that this come in because I'm on vacation. So this is pre-recorded. I'm totally on vacation right now. Somebody is walking away from something. There's two ways I'm going to see this. Okay, because the King of Pentacles would be your energy um, being Virgo, but the King of Pentacles can also be someone who has an awful lot of responsibility. And so either this person is changing, their, their responsibility is shifting, so they're walking away from that responsibility, or they're walking away from something, but it feels more like that. They're walking away from something and moving towards you. Here's what this shift change. A lot of the Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom. See, I told you, it's all about work. It's all about work. I'm going to say, I would really go and watch that Leo. This is one of those times where it literally is like I did a reading for one sign and it ended in a certain way and it literally picked up for the next sign. And you don't even have to be involved with a Leo. It's just, I don't know. I think the universe is finding some interesting ways to get messages to us. I tried a long time ago to try to remove the whole concept of zodiac signs, but people are really... That label is still very important to people. So I go with the flow. Ooh, wait for winter. Somebody else said this. During the colder months, the Fairy Queen of Winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. Oh, I think it might have been Gemini because Gemini was really like fiery to do their own thing, right? <laughs> Gemini was really... And it was just, just make sure... You know that they have this card but yours is different they needed to just kind of step back and make sure you know it's it is very important to lead your life and want to do things for you and just make sure that you're not taking that too far and you know hurting other people along the way because during the colder months the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all so whatever intention you're move, moving forward in right now, does it really, does it really feel like your highest good? Does it feel like your highest good? If it really, really does, it likely is the highest good of all. But if there's something heavy in it, something about it, mm, then it might not be for the highest good of everyone. The bottom is abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. In fairyland and human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. Yes, that is very true. That is very true. So there you go, Virgo. You guys are going to get some sort of clarity regarding... Um, it kind of feels like a situation, maybe somebody that you work with or have worked with in the past. The communication is going to be subtle, but I think the message is going to come through like loud and clear with this ace of swords i think you are going to understand something better than what you understand it to be right now okay thank you so much virgo sexy virgos until next time do be gentle with yourselves bye